I'm a collector. I've been collecting one thing and another all my life. But I first started collecting tape back in the 1970s. It was after Bob Dylan's tour to Sydney in 1978. I couldn't afford a ticket, so I didn't go to the concert. But I'll never forget the headlines a couple of days later. They recorded the concert, but lost the tapes. In those days, you'd often see bits of tape blowing along the side of the road. Car cassette players would sometimes chew up tapes, and I suppose people would just get cranky and chuck them out of the window. Anyway, since I'd read about the lost Bob Dylan recording, I'd always wonder, could this be Dylan's lost tape? But after a while, I couldn't stop picking up pieces of tape. It became a habit. I loved the thrill of finding out what was on it. The most notable characteristic of bowerbirds is the extraordinary complex behaviour of the males. They build a bower to attract a mate. The bower contains a variety of treasures which are often strikingly blue in hue. What an astonishment it is. Surely one of the wonders of the natural world. I once found a Bob Dylan tape, but it wasn't the missing concert recording. Introduction. Première partie. Bonjour. Écoutez, s'il vous plaît. Je m'appelle Olivier Delon. Je suis français. I started collecting about 60 years ago. Now I've got the shop, but I've got to think of the customers. But to be honest, most of this stuff is for me. Just can't help myself. I'm very much into bottles. People understand bottles. I love trophies. I've always loved trophies. I love matchbox cars, nuts and bolts. I love coffee machines, as you can see up there. I love oil lamps, radios, cameras, early tape recorders. Although it all needs a bit of tidying up. I still love all the old stuff. I've got badges, I've got stamps, I've got coins. It just goes on and on. My friends are always saying to me, Colin, mate, you're 70. Why do you need all this stuff? And it's true, I didn't used to need so much, but since my missus passed away, I've, well, the collection sort of filled the space. We haven't heard from you in a long time. I know my last few letters, maybe they're getting pretty heavy, but I really liked you, you know. As soon as this tape runs over, I'm gonna flip it over and uh, I'll play a few tunes. You said you want me to write you a song, so I was determined to write it. And I call it and lastly, when will I see you again? I haven't heard from you in a long time. I know my last few letters. But I really liked you, you know. The architectural and decorative skills of bowerbirds have always intrigued naturalists. Some of the bowers are nine feet high. To the observer, the decorations often look like a pile of junk. I've got nine garages full of my stuff, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, a, a hoarder. I don't collect rubbish. I, I, think, I've, I think I've got what, um, what do they call it? Uh, obsessive. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah, that's it. G'day, you've called Robert Crow. I'm not home right now, but leave a message after the beep.
Oh, hi, Robert. I saw your ad in the trading post for the Charlie Bird records, and I'm really interested, so can you call me back on 9810 Thanks. Bye. The bird spends hours carefully arranging his decorations, with each object in a particular place. The collection reflects the bird's personal taste and his ability to procure unusual and rare items. I collect all sorts of different things, but the fellow who lives opposite me, he's got a fetish, you see. He's got 500 different pairs of pliers. I say to him, Jim, why do you need any more? And he says, could be one I haven't got. Audio tapes believed to be original recordings from Bob Dylan's 1978 Sydney tour were found in an old biscuit tin buried beneath the rubble. It's been years since I found a tape on the road like I used to. Now everyone listens to CDs and iPods and whatnot. Even my regular customers are using eBay. Anyway, I've made a big decision. It's time to move on. I'm giving up tape collecting. I'm downsizing, making space for something else. It's just a start, but we'll see how it goes. The male bowerbird eventually deserts his bower and its treasures. Other male birds who've yet to attract a mate often raid it and use the treasures to decorate their own bar. Haven't heard from you in a long time. Haven't heard from you in a long time. 